Yo, what's good out there, peeps? I'm gonna start cooking on this bitch today. Oh my gosh, this chick. I'm in the Bronx. I'm in my work truck. I'm driving my work truck. Going down Fordham Road. Right, it was very congested. I had the equipment on the roof of the truck. And trying not to hit nobody. And shit. But this fucking ugly, ugh, ghetto hood chick, man, with a hair hat on, hitting, like, tapping on, like, talking about, like, oh, you didn't feel that? I'm like, we fucking or something? Right? I'm trying to scam me. I'm trying to scam me and my partner in our work truck. As I was driving, we are in the same lane, as I was driving, she fucking she tapped my she tapped my rear fender talking about oh I'll hit you oh you hit my car how did I hit your car you tapped my rear fender you rubbed against it I didn't feel shit in my truck I'm saying how you gonna fucking tap my tap my work truck it's a Ford F-250 Dually. I didn't feel nothing. Right? So I said, look, we're going to pull over, exchange information. I'm going to call my boss. Actually, I'm going to call my supervisor. And, um, and we're going to call the police, make a report of this, and end and the story. Yo, try and get across the bridge on Fordham, just get into Manhattan. Right? This bitch is trying to run into my truck again. I'm looking at her like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this black bitch? And I'm like, yo, let me fucking pass so I can get over so I can get over and she's still trying to run into my truck again. So as soon as we pull over, I got on my she came up to my passenger side window, bothering my partner, talking about like, oh, I want compensation. I want to get paid. I want some money. And da da da. And that ain't going to happen. Right? I'm looking at her like, what the fuck this bitch talking about, man? Come up to my vehicle and my truck. Talking about, I want to get paid cash right now and I said like yo I know this bitch is running a scam so uh, I was going I'm getting on my phone I'm about to call the police <laughs> and shit cause I looked at her like look my partner's on the phone talking to my supervisor talking to the supervisor I'm went outside to assess the damage Right, she's talking about all. Oh, I'm at fault. No, 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 no. You got into my turn. It was a big ass curb. You all of a sudden decided to go tap my rear, tap the rear of my fender, and noticing there's flags in the rear talking about stay away. It's like oranges. It was an orange out warning saying stay away from the truck. I mean, don't come too close. Because the equipment that's on it is overhead. So therefore, I looked, I looked at the vehicle. I walked around her vehicle. I'm saying, I said like, oh shit. Her whole fucking front end, her whole fucking front bumper was all fucked up. And I looked on the side where my where she fucking accidentally rubbed into my vehicle, bumped into my truck. And I looked, I said, how the fuck did I hit you when you actually hit me? I looked, it was like a simple little ass scratch. She talking about, I want to get paid. Yo, this chick had a fucking hair hat on with the, with the fucking, you know, with that fucking baby hair curly look shit on her fucking forehead. 
uh, fucking jewelry on and shit, leggings and stuff. And I'm looking. I was like, this bitch trying to scam me, man. So I said, look, I'm going to call the police. And stuff. I did my police little, uh, <laughs> did my little police work. I said, hey, um, can you send a, can you send a, a rover over here, please? I have a little incident on a, on a, on an intersection of on Fordham and stuff, and she's like, okay. And she's like taking pictures of the vehicle and shit. And next thing I notice, right before I can before I can even get the police to come over, the bitch just drives off. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. This bitch hit us. And she knows she was in a wrong. But she was trying to scam and fucking demand money. It wasn't happening. I don't know what's up with these fucking New York women. Especially even the ones that's in the Bronx. Trying to scam up some easy money till, you, till she noticed that the company I was working for, that she ain't going to get no money. She was not going to get paid. I'm saying I look at the damage on the vehicle compared to my truck I said like come on a little ass scratch you fucking rubbed into my vehicle you bumped into me You're going the same way how the fuck did I hit you if I would have hit you I would have hit you from the front not from the back but that's not gonna happen I'm saying I took my five hour defensive driving course and I'm like, I'm looking at this chick, like, she coming out of her fucking, out of her fucking, it was an Acura MDX. Whole front end was all fucked up. The tire marks and everything else. Talking about, I'm on compensation. I want to get paid. Pay me, pay me. I said, well, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to get a report. I'm going to let my job handle all the paperwork. But her ugly ass got in her car and drove the fuck off. And all this time, her ass could have stayed, wait for the police, take a police report. I would have called my supervisor up. Supervisor would have came. I would have took pictures, assessed the damage and shit. My supervisor was like, yo, she drove off? Like, yeah, I don't know why. Man, don't even worry about it. That's on her. She hit you. All right, she did a hit and run. She did a fucking hit and run. But she she's the one who hit you, and she want to get paid. Yo, this snowstorm is a fucking bitch, man. Yeah, Texas, all around in the southern states, man, y'all get hit with snow. And, um, yo, much respect to y'all. Because if y'all never driven in the snow or ever experienced power outages and shit in cold weather, come up north and experience that. Come up north to New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Guarantee you're gonna feel the snow. You're gonna feel that cold during the winter time. But yo, this chick was bugging. I was like, I know this chick tried it. Like she took down information on the truck. Blah blah blah. Because the truck, it was a rental truck. It had PA plates on it. But she did not know <clears throat> that I was gonna bring the pain. Fucking. 10 pounds of makeup on her face looking like a fucking like one of those fucking uh, like one of those tan pink nose pit bulls fucking jewelry on skin all fucked up and shit I think she probably know me from one of my YouTube videos cause I think she said like oh is she like she First thing she said was she called me by my name Ricky. I'm like, hold on, how the fuck you know my name? And you just fucking hit me. He was like, then I guess a passenger in the car was like, um, 
showed me who I was on my fucking channel, on my videos. And she, I don't know, I thought she got scared off or she couldn't make no money off of me. Cause I was gonna roast that ass. Yo, man, that's all I got to say, man. Watch out for these fucking women. Man, if someone bumps you and you're going the right of way and they say they hit you, it's a fucking scam. They're scamming you for bread. And you notice their vehicles are all fucked up and you already caught on to it. I'm saying, I've been through that before, but then someone hit me and kept on going. Holy shit, somebody's driving a Bentley behind me. Dragging a fucking cardboard box under it. <laughs> but yo, I gotta get back to driving while the weather and the turnpike is smooth. Gotta pack up on goodies tonight. That snow's gonna come. Might cripple the city again. Peace.